breaking news right now at 10, lightning sparks a fire in Bastrop State Park. The night beats Tina Shively is live with how firefighters are battling to smother those flames. And Tina, we can see you've got a pretty good shot of those flames right behind you. That's right, those flames are impressive, Quita, but that is actually by design. I've got Assistant Fire Chief of Bastrop ESD2 here with me, Andreas Rosales. Nice to see you. Thank you for being with us tonight. So tell us a little bit about these. You actually set these flames that we're looking at right now, right? Yes, ma'am. We've set these flames. Uh, we got called for, uh, for fire due, due to lightning. Um, and the location that it was at was too hard for our guys to get into, too dangerous. And so it was easier for us to back burn to it and uh, put out the rest of the fire or the, the uh, fuels to the fire. And so that's currently what we're doing. Okay, so the fire that actually was started by lightning is not visible to us. It's actually in the park. How big do we think that fire is right now? Uh, that fire was about four to five acres at, at its start. Um, and with us burning, it's going to end up being about 10 acres total. Okay, so people not too far away, there are homes. Uh, do they need to be concerned about this right now? No, currently we, we have it under control. It's, it's a controlled burn basically at this time, kind of like what we do at Camp Swift um, pretty often. We right. do a controlled burn. Uh, we've got a dozer line all the way around the perimeter. Um, plus, we have all of our trucks, all of our guys, and we'll be stationed here all night. Um, and throughout the day tomorrow and, and until it's completely out. Uh, okay, great. Thank you so much, Assistant Fire Chief of Bastrop ESD2, Andreas Rosales, here with us tonight. So, again, they will be here throughout the night. Also, the Texas Park Service is here just monitoring the situation. Quita, Mike, back to you. All right, Tina, thank you.